Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something very interesting to take a look at today, and I don't think that they're going to be the best quality in the world, and I'm definitely not expecting perfection, but we've got two kind of like remote-controlled Mosasaurus figures. Now, I recently had seen these on Amazon, I think it was, where I had initially noticed them, and uh, I was immediately interested because, you know, that seems kind of fun, and I ordered this one. And then not long after, I ended up seeing this one, and I thought this one looked better, and more so almost like the Jurassic World version of a Mosasaurus than this one. So then I placed an order for both, and we now have them both here to take a look at, and I figured rather than doing individual reviews on both or just leaving one out and not reviewing one of them, I would just take a look at both of them together, so... Again, you can see as far as the box art goes, it's okay. Kind of high quality for a random figure like this. They don't look bad by any means. You have information on the side over here, and then an image of the Mosasaurus on the side on that one. And then if we take a look here at the back, you can get a better look at this version of the Mosasaurus. Looks shockingly like the Nanmu version, actually, now that I look at it. And then we also have apparently a different color variant of this Mosasaurus out there. I don't remember seeing that one online, but I'm not a big fan of that color. I still would have went with this one regardless. And then for the other side, you could see you have information there and pretty much the same thing actually on both sides of that box. So I'm pretty interested in these. I'm not super hyped like I normally would be because again, I'm not expecting much. And when it comes to something like this, it's probably best to head into it with lower expectations. But we'll go ahead, check them out regardless, and see what we've got. So let's pop the boxes open and do just that. So I just pulled all of the contents out of the box, and aside from its, you know instructions and stuff like that, this is everything we've got. And you can see some assembly is clearly required, as we've got the Mosasaurus in a few different pieces. And it seems like both are kind of constructed in the same way where you are uh, given three pieces. You've got a tail, you've got the midsection of your Mosasaurus, and then, of course, the front part. And I will say I'm actually quite impressed with the size. I didn't expect them to be near as large as they are. I think the fact that they come in numerous pieces in the box kind of disguises the fact that they're going to be a pretty decent size. So that's pretty fun. I am happy to see that they're a bit larger than I expected them to be. Funny thing is, I actually think this one looks better, which was the first one I ordered, than this one, because the paintwork is just... I mean, it looks okay. It's just not really that great on this one. I think the paintwork looks a little better on that one. But I'm going to go ahead and try to pop these together really quick, and then we'll come back and check them out from there. So now both of the Mosasaurus are put together, and uh, it was actually super easy to put them together. Not a problem at all. And you can see, though, that obviously, as you would kind of expect, you have, like, open areas as the... Mosasaurus kind of swims along and if we look at it from up above it definitely looks like it's going to have a really cool really smooth appearance in the water let's hope that is the case and then again same deal for this one and you can see they are pretty big they do have a pretty good size to them which is also quite neat and I actually have a Mosasaurus that is a similar look to this one that I've reviewed here on the channel and it was smaller than this so it's pretty neat to have it now in a bigger size. There are also, of course, the remote controls for them, and I will say that the remote control for this one is definitely cooler than the remote control for this one, as this one's just very plain, kind of blah, but this one actually has sort of that prehistoric kind of look and also has the Mosasaurus head right there on the remote control, so that's pretty fun as well. And then, of course, wherever I put that stuff, you have the battery and everything to put into the Mosasaurus, and then I assume we're going to charge them up because we've got this little guy here. So we'd have to charge them and then check them out from there. So we're going to have to head outside at some point, find a body of water, and then check out our Mosasaurus and see how good they swim. But before we go and do that, what we're going to do is take a closer look at both of these. So let's jump to it right now. So to begin with, we'll check out the one that I had originally ordered. And you can see it does have some pretty nice looking skin texture to it and some pretty decent paintwork as we have like some dark blues with some lighter blue dry brushing over the course of the body. And uh, we also have a pretty neat looking paint here for the eye. We have a yellow and then a red that kind of circles around it and then a black pupil. The teeth are sculpted out here on the inside of the mouth. They're also painted. They've been given a nice white tone of color. The jaw doesn't articulate or anything, but you can definitely see again the teeth look really good, really quite precise and 
zero sloppiness that I'm really noticing as far as the paintwork and everything goes in the face. Maybe a slightly misplaced pupil in that one, but uh, actually, I guess technically not. You can see there's like an eye itself sculpted out, and they did place the pupil in the center of the eye, but when you look at the overall eye, the fact that they've kind of painted it up a little further... Uh, it looks a little bit off as far as the pupil goes. We also have the nostrils sculpted out there. You can see the skin texture up here on the top looks pretty cool. They have some kind of like purplish dry brushing here and there through the course of the figure. And as you move through again, the skin texture looks a little generic as you move back into the body, but by no means terrible. We also have those very Jurassic World style kind of ridges moving along the back of the Mosasaurus and they have painted all of those out with a brown coloration as well which is pretty cool and uh, you can see the fins as well again have some nice color variation to them really smooth as far as the actual transitioning between colors goes you can see it's darker and transitions to a lighter tone and that does look really nice we do have some dry brushing of that purplish tone which isn't so great it's a little sloppy looking there but uh, the actual transition between blues does look really good and as you move through again you continue to have pretty much that same style of sculpt same style of detail as you move out here toward the tail some more nice looking paintwork on the tail some decent looking sculpt and detail and then again we also of course have lots of areas to articulate your mosasaurus as you move through so you get that nice smooth swimming motion which hopefully that's how nice it looks on the actual moment of putting it into the water but you can see the underside as well sports a nice light tone of color which looks pretty good don't know what that is i guess we'll have to take that off because we don't really want that on there ah, it ripped we don't really want that on there when we're swimming around in the water but uh, you can see, again, sculpting detail-wise does look really nice on the underside, the paintwork as well. But there's lots of stuff going on, like very busy on the underside of the Mosasaurus. And pretty much the same thing, of course, over here on the opposing side. We're only really taking a quick look at them. Don't want to take super long as far as the video goes by taking a really in-depth look at the detailing aspect and then here's the other one the second one that i had ordered that i think looks a little more like the actual jurassic world mosasaurus as far as the appearance goes you know you've got some okay looking coloration here with some light blues darker blues kind of mixed in and also a kind of uh like a variation of a bluish dry brushing that runs over the top kind of highlighting a lot of the skin texture we have a red eye given a nice black pupil a little sloppy but just barely the teeth are just like with the other ones sculpted out and you can see of course the mouth is in a closed position and the teeth are also painted and they look pretty nice Again, they did do a good job as far as the actual paintwork on the teeth on both of these Mosasaurus. Doesn't really look sloppy or anything anywhere. The eye looks a little better over here on this side. And as you move back, you can see, again, lots of really nice looking skin detail and everything. I think the actual fine detail of this one is nicer than we saw on the other one, but the paintwork on the other one was nicer than what we see on this one because there's just more to the paintwork of the other one. Whereas this one, we just basically have like a bluish tone, a light underbelly, and then a dry brushing and that's really about it and the other one had quite a bit more coloration going on like the actual ridges and everything running along the top were painted we have some various uh you know variations of lighter and darker blues and we also had purplish tones don't have near as much of that going on with this one but you can see again the detailing does look quite nice on this one as you lead out toward that tail but i will say it looks so similar to the nanmu mosasaurus i don't know if that is the origins of the figure i don't know if this is some sort of a weird bootleg transitioned into a remote controlled version of a mosasaurus or what but it absolutely has a strikingly similar look to the nanmu mosasaurus but it does look kind of cool i will say that so let's go ahead and get some sizes on these guys and then we're going to take them out into the water so of course we're not going to have much as far as like a height or anything so we're not even going to acknowledge that we're just basically looking for length on the first one that i had purchased you're looking at about 15 and a half inches or around the 39 and a half approaching 40 centimeter range so pretty darn big they are very similar in size, that is for sure, but I kind of think the other one might be a little bit bigger. For a length on this one, you are looking at about the... Wow, this is going to be tough because it's like positioned where the tail's up and it doesn't want to stay still. So we're just going to position it there and kind of like try to do this from a distance. I'd say about 14 and a half inches or around 37 
centimeters and that's pretty rough because we can't really get too close to it so this one is definitely the bigger of the two that's for sure but it's not by a whole lot only a little bit regardless now is the fun part so we're gonna go ahead and check these out in the water and see if they actually work well and how they look okay so we've definitely moved to a new area that i don't often feature in my reviews but i'm at a local pond and it's probably one of the most beautiful ponds that i've ever seen in my entire life you can see it's quite large and extraordinarily clear and full of life but we're gonna add a little extra life to it or not real life i guess because we're gonna put our mosasaurus into the water here and we'll see how it swims So our Mosasaurus is definitely swimming pretty good, at least around in a circle. Oh, okay, so that's to go backwards. I see now, I'm starting to figure this out. Kind of. Okay, so that one definitely works really nicely and looks super, super cool. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I tried to get this one to work, and for some reason it's just not doing anything. The controller is attempting to connect to it, but so far it's just not having any luck. So we're going to have to take it home, take a look at it, and then we'll see if we can charge it maybe and try it again. So we are back, and we're now going to sample our other Mosasaurus. Supposed to have like a water spray thing going on, but doesn't seem like it's really working too well right now. It does work really nicely though, once you actually get it moving and, you know, get it working. I don't know what happened, it just wouldn't work when I was here last. And then I went home and it just randomly turned on and started working. Why, I have no idea, but at least it gave me the chance to come here and get a look at it actually swimming. Now it's going to swim right into the shore. Now we swam into the shore again. Let's take it back out. It does look really, really cool, that's for sure. So these remote-controlled Mosasaurus figures are actually really quite cool. Again, they're a little bit tricky at first to get one of the two of them to work. The one worked great right away. The more almost Nanmu-looking one worked really nicely and uh, was very smooth in the water. And it looks really good, too. You know, it's got a nice sculpt and some okay-looking paint. Not the best. It's not quite as nice as the other one as far as the paintwork goes. But, uh... The paintwork is decent, you know, it has a nice kind of realistic looking appearance to it. And of course, again, like I said, the sculpt is quite nice and it works very nicely in the water and also has a cooler controller. I really quite like the controller of that one better than the other. But we also have, I think, a little bit more to the other one, even though this one was a little bit confusing and didn't work for me right away. I don't know why it just was not working when I first took it to the pond to try to, you know, swim it around. But Eventually it did begin working and uh, it worked really nice and smooth as well just like the other one once it got going but it also has the ability to squirt water out of the top of the head and of course that's more of a whale sort of a gimmick but you know it's just something that people would enjoy and it worked actually really quite nicely when it did work again that as well wasn't quite operating correctly at first but once I got that working that as well was really smooth and uh, again you just kind of had to break the figure in I guess and once it began working it was quite the pleasure to operate that as well and the Mosasaurus also has a little bit better paint I would say than the other one because there's just a little bit more to it and a little bit nicer as far as the tones of color I would say and of course a decent sculpt I don't like the sculpt as much as I like the sculpt of the more Nanmu looking one or I should say the more Jurassic World looking one but 
It does still have a pretty fun sculpt and, again, some decent paintwork. So as a whole, they're both really neat and definitely something that is fun to acquire and fun to play with. I don't normally play with any of my dinosaur figures, or in this case, marine reptiles, but uh, it is actually quite fun to operate those, and I'm probably going to be taking them back out now with my kids to see how they enjoy them as well. The only real big downside to them is the movability isn't all that great, like they don't move quickly, they don't move super smoothly when you try to turn them and stuff, they're kind of slow, and the battery life of the non-Jurassic World looking one was really short. It died very quickly and I did see some fairly negative reviews about them breaking easily or having screws that are just too tight for the battery compartments on the underside to the point where people actually had stripped the screws trying to open them up. I did read some of those reviews on Amazon stating you know some negatives about them so there are definitely some pluses there are definitely some negatives about them but uh, they were pretty fun overall. I don't really intend on playing with them very much because I just don't really have time, but it was enjoyable while I had them out on the pond. And you, of course, have the option of taking them into the bathtub or your swimming pool or a pond or your sink or wherever you want and uh, playing with them there, so that's pretty fun as well but uh definitely still really cool you know i did enjoy them they're not the greatest thing in the world they don't work perfectly but uh they're not terrible either i will include links in the description to where you can purchase both of these on amazon assuming the links are still active because you just never know so you can acquire them for yourself if you are interested so check those links grab yourself a remote controlled mosasaurus and like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching